So what's the mass percent of potassium, chromium, and oxygen in potassium chromate? Well, first thing is we're going to find the total mass. I'll create a nice little table. And then to find those percents, it's going to be easy peasy. Watch. Bam. So the first thing I'm going to do is write down the elements I see. So we got potassium, we got chromium, and we got oxygen. Next is then to identify the number of atoms. That's where the subscripts come into play. So at the bottom of potassium, there's a two. So that means we got two atoms. Chromium, there's only one. So we got a one. And oxygen, there's going to be four. So we simply take those numbers and then we're going to multiply it by the mass of each particular element. The mass are found here on the table. All right. So potassium is 39.10, chromium is 52, and oxygen is 16. So let's write them on in. All right. So 39, 39.10, 52, and then 16. And then to find the total mass of each element in the compound, we're simply going to multiply this row on across. So that's going to be 78.20 for potassium. Chromium, 52.00, nice and easy. And then the, for oxygen, it's going to be 64, right? And then all we got to simply do to find the total mass of the entire compound, which is what we're really interested in, we're going to simply just add those on together. And the total mass is going to be 194.20. And there you go. That's the first step of the process, right? The total mass. So now that we found the total mass, we can easily find those percents. I'm going to add a column to the table now. Bam. So to find the mass percent of, let's say, potassium, we're going to simply take the total mass of the potassium, so 78.20, and we're going to divide it then by the total mass of the entire compound, or the 194.20, multiply that by 100, and we're simply going to find the percent, right? So this is going to be 40, then 40.27%. That's the value for potassium. Chlorine, uh, not chlorine, chromium, same thing, right? 52, two, it almost looked like a seal over there. Uh, 52. Don't worry about the zeros. They might matter in terms of the sig figs, but quite honestly, it doesn't really make a difference. Unless your professor asks for them and then takes off 29 points. Um, so anyway, uh, when we do this division, it's going to work out to be 26, 26.78%. And there you have it for chromium. And then oxygen, same thing. Total mass of the oxygen, 64 over then 194.20. Multiply that by 100. My handwriting is getting less neat as it goes. Isn't that, that's like one thing I feel like the more you do, the worse it gets, right? I write all day long and for some reason I can't, I can't write to save my life. But what are you going to do? When you add up that column, it should equal 100%. That's a nice, simple way to kind of check yourself, but that's all there is to it. Now you know how to find the mass percent of all those elements inside of potassium chromate. Thanks so very much for watching. Take a look at some of our other videos. We've got a whole bunch of other subjects covered. I'd love to help you out with other stuff. Take care.